Welcome back, my amazing learners. Today, I'm going to read one of your favorite nonfiction books. Every time we have career awareness or anything related to occupations or workers in my community, the students love this one. So nonfiction means that we can prove that it is true. It's not like a storybook. Okay, so this one is A Day with a Chef and, and it is by Hilary Doyle Klein. So I'm only going to read a part of this story. If you want to read the rest, you can always visit the library or you can ask me to read the rest of the book. But this one is pretty, is pretty long in comparison to the stories that I usually read aloud. And I don't want the videos to be too long for you. All right, so A Day with a Chef. Now, because it's a nonfiction book, it will usually have a table of contents page when you open it. So you will see the title page, and then you will see a page that will say contents or table of contents. And then it will list out all the different chapters and the corresponding page number where you can find each chapter. So let's meet this chef. Can you see what this chef is wearing? He's wearing a chef jacket. Now, many times they wear like a uniform, a hat, a jacket. Sometimes they even wear special shoes to protect their feet and their lower back from all that standing and walking up and down in the kitchen. Now, let's see. Chapter one, let's meet the chef. Do you like to eat out? At restaurants, the person in charge of the kitchen is the chef. A chef oversees everything that goes on in a restaurant and its kitchen. Some chefs go to cooking school while others learn on the job. Becoming a chef takes years of training and experience. A chef's hours are very long and the work can be hard. Being a chef means being very busy and having lots of responsibilities. So I'm going to pause right here. Those of you who are planning to work in the restaurant or in the tourism industry, remember that you can get your training at Heart Trust NTA. I will leave the link for that in the description box below. So the chef that we're going to read about today, his name is Chef Jason Banks, and he is the executive chef at a busy restaurant called Fresco. Fresco at the beach in Santa Barbara, California. That's in the United States of America. Not only is Jason the top person in the kitchen, but he's also responsible for the whole restaurant. Let's find out how he does his job. So here you see the illustration of Jason wearing his chef jacket, and they explain that the buttons are made of cloth and not plastic because He's working in a very hot environment and the plastic might melt. When Jason was growing up, he loved to watch his grandfather cook for family gatherings. He saw how great food made everyone happy. Food brought our family together, he says. Jason was in high school when he got his first kitchen job. After that, Jason also always had a job cooking somewhere in a deli, at a beachside cafe, or even in a family restaurant. Jason has washed dishes, peeled potatoes, made salads, and fried hamburgers. He has done just about everything a person can do in a kitchen. The good thing about being a chef, says Jason, is that you can get a job anywhere in the world. He has cooked in California, Washington, and Hawaii. When Jason is not at his restaurant, he likes to surf and bodyboard, ride mountain bikes and play beach volleyball. But what Jason likes best in the world is to watch people enjoy the food that, that I have prepared. Now I know that some of you might be hearing in the background, the students playing outside, but I'm filming this at work. All right, let's continue. When Jason was 22, he and his mother opened a catering business. This was like having a restaurant that changed buildings every day. One day, they served a small lunch at someone's home. The next day, they served 700 people in a tent. 
Jason worked at the catering business for five years. To learn even more, Jason decided to go to cooking school. He studied culinary arts, the fancy name for cooking skills, in Portland, Oregon. Cooking school is like a regular school with books to read and papers to write. But instead of sitting in a classroom, students also make food in a kitchen. Students learn cooking and baking skills. They study food safety. They learn how to run a restaurant too. While in cooking school, Jason was still working. To pay for school, he worked in a restaurant until long after midnight. Then he was up before dawn for classes. Jason was tired, but he got his degree. What a hard worker. Most people that I know who cook for a living and bake, they are very hard workers. So this is the last page of the book that I'm going to share with you. After all that work and school, Jason finally got to open a restaurant. Fresco at the Beach opened in 2006, and Jason was there from the start. These days, he comes to work around noon and does not leave the restaurant until almost midnight. As the chef, he creates the recipes and plans the menus. He also orders all the food and supplies. Plus, he's in charge of a big team of workers, and he has to do many of these things at the same time. In addition to the restaurant kitchen workers, <clears throat> Jason is in charge of the people who work out front. That includes the hosts, the servers, which means the waiters and waitresses, and the runners who bring the food to the tables. He even works with the people who clean the dishes. Since all restaurants need to attract customers, Jason also gives interviews to newspapers and magazines. Some chefs teach classes or appear on television shows. It's a busy life, but Jason says he's most comfortable in the kitchen. Now, this is a job that I know that many of you are interested in. You like to hear about people cooking and baking and serving those beautiful dishes to others. Some of you even aspire to work in the tourism industry. If you want to read more about what a chef does day to day, you can, you can borrow this book or you can come and read it in the library or you can look it up, um, look it up online do some research and you can click the link below to the Heart Trust NTA. That's it for today. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Until the next video, bye. I am just popping in to show you the website, heart-nsta dot org that's the website just in case you decide not to click on the link this is what it looks like you will see that it is a well-established agency of our government government of jamaica here you can read more about it see what programs they have in terms of on the job training mentorship and so on there are different levels and it's pretty reasonably priced so if you're a jamaican and you want to learn more about these careers and what you can get access to check out this website. Bye.